It's Brennan's second swim meet of the season. If we can't do this, then we'll have to stop YouTube and I'll get a different job. What if we did like a, a protest? YouTube march? That's a great idea. All right, you guys, so it is Friday night and Dad and I are at a Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> late for school to start. Kate's running a little late this morning. Good morning, What's sweetness. Up? Oh my gosh. Oh, I, thought, I thought that was like a wolf. It's a dog. Is that a dog? Yeah, it's a cute doggy dog dog. All right, you guys, we are T minus 12 days until Christmas. Is that right? Mm -hmm. It's the 13th of December. Oh. Oh. Katie, I'm really proud of you for getting all of your gifts like the first weekend. Mm -hmm. You're done. Brennan and Ryan haven't even gotten mine yet, so... If I think Brennan did. He did? Yeah, Brennan said he's done. He done, just, done? Yeah, he just finished. Did he order them on Amazon? I think so. Better be good. And Ryan hasn't started yet, so I'll work with Ryan this weekend on getting some stuff. Getting some stuff done. So, it is Friday, you guys, and we are rolling into the weekend. Big weekend this weekend. Brennan, uh, Ryan is really excited about the Army-Navy football game. Go Navy! If you're an Army fan, I understand, but no, I'm for the wrong team. No, I don't. <laughs> The good news is we're all on the same team, Army and Navy, but when it comes to football... We're all on Team America. When it comes to football... Yes. Uh, Navy's yeah. the way to go. Yeah. Navy football, man. Um, what else? What are you going on this weekend? You have a high school basketball game tonight? Mm -hmm. You were going to compete at the indoor track meet today, but you're not because... A lot of reasons, but my coach isn't going to be there, and my other teammates aren't going to be there, and I'm not ready yet, so we're going to wait until later. I also have a basketball game tonight, I'd rather be done. Oh. And the meet is an hour and a half away, so it's kind of pointless yeah. spending like hours and hours up there. There's no, if I'm not even gonna. Because she was gonna pull a ball, but her pull ball coach isn't gonna be there. And none of her pull ball teammates, so she'd be the only one standing out there pull ball taking it. And she's not still gonna learning. Have to do. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, cool. Do you think you'll pull ball at all this season in a competition? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm excited to see that. Yay. Oh, oh. And Virginia Beach with Ellie on Saturday. Oh, yeah, are you going just for the night? Yeah. That'll be fun. When do you leave? Like in the morning or when? I have no idea. All right, will you vlog? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So speaking of vlogging, Katie Elizabeth, I don't know, uh, I should say, I, I was going to say I don't know what's going on with our channel, but I kind of do know what's going on with our channel. We know exactly what's going we on. We know with exactly our what's going on. It's not necessarily our channel, it's what's going on with YouTube. So... I don't know if you guys have noticed, but lately our channel views have been down and I think um, I've been in conversations with some of my friends who are also on YouTube who their views have gone down as well. And this is the deal. So you potentially, if you've watched any other family vlogging channels, you've heard this because we haven't talked about it much, but a lot of other channels have, that the Federal Trade Commission, so this is the United States, like law, FTC, <laughs> FTC um, has a law called the COPA law, C-O-P-P-A, it stands for like Child Protection Something Something Act, and they are, they, the act is around protecting children 13 and under in the United States, and they're, they're private Wait a minute, their we don't have any kids that are that age. I know. We don't in our family, but... Other, with the, the law and what YouTube has to do to protect those kids is they protect the viewers. So if you're under 13 and you're watching our channel, YouTube's not allowed to collect any data on you. Like they can't follow, like if you, they collect data like if they- How do they know if they're 13? Well, um, if they're not that's like a, logged in through. That's a fantastic question because you can't even have a YouTube account unless you're 13. So because I don't understand that. Don't, a lot of views don't come from subscribers either. Exactly. They just come from the explorer. Right. So this is the thing. So anyway, so you, so FTC says you can't collect data on children. It's a privacy act. So YouTube got fined, and so now for for collecting data on children, I mean, just not that not every attention. every like. Everything collects data on children. On, on everybody. Games, yes. Google, yeah, apps, all apps, of it. Everything. I know. So I don't understand why apps can and YouTube can't. But anyway. Because um, it's our job, which is kind of stressful. It, it is, yeah, which is very stressful. So one of the things that YouTube has to do to, to comply with the COPA law is they um, have put huge restrictions on family vlogging channels or any channel that might appeal to kids under 13. Now, what about channels that have explicit content? No. 
So then why? <laughs> that makes no sense. It makes no sense, right? Because a child can still watch a channel with explicit content. But they can't. But anyway, so what? So what they're doing is YouTube. One of the way the ways that YouTube works is they, if you watch a video and then you see on the side there's like suggested videos, that's how they learn information about you to know what kind of videos you like. So you can watch. Let's say you watch um, our video, and then next to it is a suggested video of another video that we've done that you might like. So then you watch that video, and then they suggest another video and suggest another video. So that's how we get views. That's how you guys decide what you want to watch. That kind of thing. Well, YouTube has completely cut out suggesting videos. So they don't, they're not suggesting our videos to anybody. So basically we're putting a video up and hoping that people either search for it or if they're subscribed, they've got a notification and they'll watch it. So our views have plummeted because of that. It's not that our content has changed at all. It's the way that YouTube is presenting our content or not presenting our content anymore to people. So that is causing quite a disturbance. Um, you know, if, if we don't, if this doesn't change soon, then like this is our job, or my job, it's not Mike's job, it's my job though, and I need to continue to earn money to support our family, so if we don't, if we can't do this, then we'll have to stop YouTube, and I'll get a different job, which I've had other jobs in the past, that's not a big deal, but I will miss it dearly, and one of the reasons that we started also, YouTube it's a part was of our so family can, now. it's a part so of our it's family. Like hard to it for what five years yeah so it's just like the other suck. option Katie so the other option is we could change our format instead of being a family vlog channel we could be like a travel channel or we could be like you know change the format so it's not geared towards kids at all but all of our videos before this won't get any suggestions or, or play so it's almost like starting all over again so you guys, as viewers, what would you like to see us do? Like, do you, what what part of our channel do you like? Like, what what do you like about our channel? Do you like seeing our family together? Do you like um, seeing Traveling. us travel? Do you like seeing what we eat for dinner? Like, what do you like seeing? Because I we want to make content I think that you'll I, like to watch. I think if I ever were to like go back and watch our videos, I'd watch the ones we traveled on. Yeah, I mean, and that's a huge part of what we do, a huge part of our family, and what what how we build memories. So I kind of feel like that would be, but we can't travel every single day. So when it, I mean, it might be a once a week vlog or once a week video. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that looks like. I'm not sure. Or we could focus it around travel. Maybe we post three days a week and the other two days are um, like your sports events, you guys, like the kids' sports events, or I don't know. But it's sad. It's, it's sad that this is what it's come to. And... Um, it's affecting a lot of people too because there's lot a of lot people. of family channels. It's affecting a lot of people. If you look across the board, all the reviews are down because the way that YouTube used to, again, suggest the content or get the content out there, get those videos out there to, to viewers has completely changed. It's like basically stopped. So anyway, it's depressing. We should, we should just try to repeal it. Well, I've, we've commented and there's been petitions signed and all that stuff. And the worst of it hasn't even hit yet. See, I'm January learning in AP Gov. Oh, talk to me. How we can have a voice in the government. Yes. So what if we did like a protest? YouTube march? That's a great idea in Washington, D.C. No. Why wash? Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> Make a difference, Kate. Are you thinking LA? No. Because Washington, D.C. I, well, the only people it affects really is family channels. So, oh, oh well, and kid on un toy unboxing channels, those are huge, and kids love watching that stuff. Yeah. And it's not, it's good content for them versus like a lot of stuff that's on the networks that is not good for them, or other stuff on YouTube that's for adult audiences. But nothing prohibits them from watching that stuff. So basically, the, by, by, this law is taking away all the content that's good for kids and leaving all the stuff that's not good for kids. See, I'm no like mathematician. But this I'm just no mathematician, but this ain't adding up. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not one to be like, oh my god, like let's protest because I just like don't feel like I, I just like don't do that as like myself. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this might be a good reason. For yeah, because I feel like it was made kind for of screwing up our lives and a lot of and a lot, a lot of, of other people's, people's lives. lives and not just the youtuber for for a reason the youtubers that but the kids too right for for a reason that could be taken care of like what if when you sign up for a youtube channel 
Or when you signed up to, to for a YouTube, like to watch YouTube, you, you have just, to just, just check, check a, a box, box saying, says, I know. I'm, let it, I'm letting you track what I want. Exactly. Like privacy. I give up my privacy rights all the time on all kinds of things. Everyone does on so many apps. Like it's just really yeah. confusing why. So anyway, you guys, I hope this wasn't boring. I hope it was informative and I hope um, that you'll comment down below and let us know what you think we should do. And um, if you've heard of this before, have you heard of this from other channels? Um, because we're kind of in a bit of a quandary. We're in a bit of a pickle. In a bit of a pickle. Um, and we want to continue creating content for you guys. And we want to create, It's like I say, it's been part of our life. And it's, um, anyway, so Kate's at school now. I'm going to write her note to get in. She's a teensy bit late because she could not sleep last night. But I need because to get of to this? Is it because of this that you couldn't sleep? Oh, no, I you didn't. I lay awake at night thinking about our views. I do. <laughs> about, well, you do. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, all right, you guys. So I'm going to say goodbye for now and um, let us know what you got. Have a great day at school. Love you. All right, Ryan. Have a good day. Bye. See you. I love you. School day has ended and I took Kate home from school and then dropped her off and immediately came here to the swim center. It's Brennan's second swim meet of the season. So I'm looking forward to seeing him swim. I'm just going to stay here for two events and then we got a ski dad. I'll dad and I have a Christmas party we're going to go to. So let's see. He's swimming the 200 relay and the 200 freestyle right after that. Thank you so much for watching tonight's vlog. We had a great day today. Dad and I had a fantastic time at the Christmas party. Everybody has come home and fallen asleep. Um, I've been doing some Christmas decorations though, so let me show you what I got so far. All right, I don't think I'm quite done, but I did decorate those shelves. We used to have pictures on there and little thingy images. This is my favorite one, I like that, because this I got this angel right there. You can see in a vlog a couple days ago. I love that angel and I think that's a pretty one. I like that one. And then I did the Christmas tree. Let's see here. Hey, there's, that's not our actual Christmas tree. That's just our one in the dining room. I did that. 
And then, oh, and then I put these little bows on the lights up there. So we kind of have upstairs, this is our upstairs, or like our main level. We have a silver, blue, nautical kind of beachy theme. I made these um, wreaths a couple of years ago, I think, and there's one for each of the doors, and we have all these French doors. So we have upstairs is that with a little hint of red because I do have a little bit of red like in that sign and in the sandals that are up there. And then downstairs is where we have um, our red and green, a real Christmas tree that's red and green and all the reds. So anyway, when the house is finished, maybe I will give you guys a house Christmas tour. I'm not the best at decorating, but I do put a lot of time into it. So hopefully it'll be beautiful. And really my deadline is, I know it's December what, like, 13th or something and I'm not finished but my deadline is always our Christmas party which is on December 23rd every year so as long as I'm done by December 23rd that makes me happy um so anyway thanks so much for watching we hope you guys enjoy enjoyed today's vlog don't forget to comment down below your comments or your thoughts on our channel and how we might evolve it or um what we should do in terms of I mean we really can't combat the law unless we go protest like Katie suggested, which is not a bad idea. Um, but other than that, just we sort of have to roll with the changes and um, and if we want to continue to make content, which we do most definitely. So comment down below, let us know what you think. Also comment down below, what made you guys happy today. What made me happy today was definitely going to the Christmas party with, with Mike. That was really fun. Um, and, oh, and going to Brennan's swim meet. He did a great job and they won, the team won. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, he did not make captain. Um, but he did, he was asked to be the, some fancy title, the inner, inter athletic rep for the swim team. There's like a council, like a sports council at school and each of the sports is represented by somebody. So he would be the representative for the swim team to the athletic director and the principal. So that's pretty cool. So he's doing that. So anyway, um, that's what made me happy today. So we hope that you guys, again, enjoyed this vlog and we hope to see you tomorrow. So comment below what made you guys happy today. What made you guys happy today? See you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.